So, Hogwarts Legacy is an open world RPG set in the Harry Potter uh, universe. <coughs> what is it? You need to address the thing. What thing? You know, the thing. You need to address the thing. Oh, I don't want to address the thing. Ah, so you do know what the thing is. Right, fine. So, before I continue with the video, I just want to address the basilisk in the chamber. I honestly don't care what your opinion of JK Rowling is. I don't care whether you think she's the devil incarnate, or you think the sun shines out her arse. It's completely irrelevant to this video. And if you're one of these insufferable spanners that thinks that I'm the spawn of Satan for simply buying a video game set in a franchise that's very near and dear to me, then to be honest, I couldn't care less. I'm not wasting my energy on you, so you can just Sign up. Now that we've got that out of the way, was Hogwarts Legacy any good? Yes, yes it was. So, as I said earlier, Hogwarts Legacy is an open world RPG set in the Harry Potter universe. The story follows the player's character, who is a newly accepted student at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. You're accompanied throughout most of your journey by Professor Fig, who acts as a kind of mentor that will guide you on an adventure that looks to uncover the secrets of a mysterious ancient magic. But only you possess the power to complete the four magical trials in order to prove that you are truly worthy to bear the knowledge that has long since been buried deep beneath the castle grounds. So, now that we've established the plot, let's talk about customization. The character creator overall was quite good. There's plenty of options for different faces, hairstyles, complexion, freckles and moles, and of course, it wouldn't be Harry Potter if you couldn't give your character a scar now, would it? Do you really have the scar? Yes! However, it's not quite as in-depth as something like Saints Row 2's character creator, for example, but it's definitely serviceable enough, and plus there's plenty more customization within the actual game itself, from different clothing to wand customization, changing the look of your broom, or even selecting which beast you want to give a right good raid. <laughs> I am so sorry. Moving on. As you can see, my character started out as a rough approximation of myself, as a completely unthreatening Hogwarts dweeb, who eventually goes on to become the suave and sophisticated Count Swagula from Blood Bowl. Praise God! To be fair, it was either that or it was going to be this. Let's talk about the combat. Now, leading up to the release of Hogwarts Legacy, I've got to say I wasn't too impressed with how the combat was looking, but I have to say after putting 46 hours into the game, I honestly think the combat feels great. Once you unlock most of the various spells that the game has to offer, and become more familiar with switching between the different blocks of spells, the combat becomes so satisfying, the animations and sound design work really well in tandem with the DualSense controller, I'm playing this on PS5 by the way, to give the spellcasting a really satisfying feel. And it's not just a spam fest either, which is what I was initially worried about. There is some level of strategy involved, with certain enemies being more susceptible to certain spells, needing to dodge and time your counter attack, using the environment to your advantage. Get on with it. Right, okay, but that does bring me on to my next point. The game is laughably easy on normal difficulty. Seriously, if you're a seasoned pro gamer like myself, I, uh, I think I can smell shite. Then you're going to want to play this game on hard mode because I only died one time and that was on the final boss. Well, unless you count this. Seriously, you can get through most combat encounters in this game without even taking a single hit in a normal difficulty, as long as you level up appropriately and complete most of the various side quests in order to gain more talent points, which are essentially your ability points or upgrades, whatever you want to call them, then oofed man, you can seriously become OP as fuck. I love the fact that you can use the unforgivable curses. My favourite is the Cruciatus Curse. Crucio. It was so satisfying, and not to mention that if you upgrade your abilities, eventually your basic attacks can bounce between multiple curse targets to cause maximum carnage. And also, the sound design is just perfect. I mean, listen to this. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Next up, let's talk about the open world. So, in my opinion, the devs absolutely nailed the look and atmosphere of this world, because not only is Hogwarts itself a visual treat filled with tons of hidden goodies, easter eggs, references to the books and the movies, but the entire map is much more expansive than I was expecting, to be honest. At a certain point in the story, you can freely roam around the vast open world of the Scottish Highlands, including Hogsmeade and oh my god, fucking Hogsmeade. 
I'm not even going to lie man, I pished my frillies when I first got to wander around the village and choose my wand, classic black ebony wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches in case you're interested. I was originally going to go with a dragon heartstring core, but I ended up opting for a phoenix feather instead because I wanted to have the same core as he who must not be named and of course, Anyway, back on track, the overall presentation really manages to capture that authentic look from the movies and this world has clearly been crafted with total love and care for the source material. Next up, the characters. Unfortunately, I don't actually have that much to say about the characters because, I'll be honest, it's probably the weakest element of this game overall. Look, that's not to say that there aren't a few standout characters such as Professor Fig. I did get a few chuckles out of Headmaster Black, particularly that section where you drink Polyjuice Potion to appear as him for one mission. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> and I can't lie, I really liked my boy Deke. I mean, just look at his wee face. You just want to give him a big hug and a sock for good measure. What? Deke helps you understand the basics of the Room of Requirement, which is used to grow a variety of plants, brew potions, upgrade your gear, which also ties into caring for the various magical beasts that you can rescue throughout the world. You can also complete various side quests for Deke, although at one point he did come out and say something that sounded a wee bit sus. Deke hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cosy. What do you mean by that? There was also this character whose name I can't really remember, but he did give me this absolute gem of a moment to laugh at. But yeah, overall the characters were a bit hit and miss, however I'd say for the most part the voice actors did a great job, but if you will indulge me for just a moment, I need to vent about something. So as you can probably tell, I'm Scottish. Get the fuck out of here! And I have to say that some of the Scottish accents in this game are hilariously bad. I mean, just listen to some of these. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. From memory, the only character that I could instantly tell was an authentic accent was this one. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. She does sound like she attends the Scottish Arts School of Glasgow. Uh, I don't actually know if that's really a thing, to be honest. Run over, moving on. The glitches. So, much like any AAA game that gets released in modern times, this thing is absolutely riddled with glitches. So, I've got a wee montage that I put together for you. I hope you enjoy. And if that wasn't bad enough, I'd like to present what I'd like to call Sebastian on Drugs, The Tale of the Lonely Raver. Anyway, my overall thoughts on the game is that it really does manage to capture the magic and the wonder of exploring Hogwarts, solving the mysteries that lie within the castle, embarking on an adventure to save the wizarding world from dark wizards, creepy fucking Skyrim abominations, and the very cockney leader of the Goblin Rebellion known as Ranrock. My options were limited. This truly is a Harry Potter fan's wet dream and there was so many times in this game where I just had the biggest smile on my face, and nothing exemplifies this more than your arrival at Hogwarts, I'm telling you man. When that music kicks in, and the castle is revealed in all of its glory, I genuinely felt like I was going to tear up. And that brings me to my final positive for the game, the music. The composer really did manage to capture that authentic John Williams feel from the first two movies, especially the music that plays while you're in flight. I mean, listen to this. It 
really does add an extra layer of authenticity to the whole package and it's clear that the music was given just as much care to make sure that the game really does make you feel like you've been transported to the wizarding world of the movies that so many of us grew up loving. It was honestly so well done. So despite some of the technical hiccups and the lack of any real meaningful moral choices throughout the game, there's still so many more positives and there's a ton of content in this game. You've got plenty of side quests and lots of unlockables that incentivise completing various tasks throughout the open world, which then reward you with new spells, new equipment for the room of requirement, and new gear for even more customization. And it, it just works. Now for some nitpicks. The lip syncing isn't the best, but it wasn't too distracting after a while. The audio for the player character's voice sounds really computerised and unnatural on anything other than the default pitch. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. I'm eager. I am indeed. And what the fuck has this guy been smoking? The running animation is hilarious. I hate the fact that I can't jump over this tiny little fence that even my granny could hop over with complete ease. It was quite immersion breaking to see a loading symbol between certain doors. And peeves, man. Fucking peeves. <laughs> That's not so much a nitpick to be honest, I just really fucking hate the guy. There's this noticeable ghost and trail effect on your character whenever you spin the camera around, but to be fair I did get used to it after a while. You can skip stones for some reason. Dear god I'm getting flashbacks to Ragnarok. There's some noticeable pop in here and there. There's cake just sitting in the bog. Wait what? This was a thing. That ledge is awfully high. That's not the only thing that looks high. Although you can pet the cats, which instantly makes this game a 10 out of 10 game of the year by default, so I'll forgive it. So, in conclusion, I think the main takeaway from this game is that if you're a Harry Potter fan, it could be argued that Hogwarts Legacy is the definitive Harry Potter experience in terms of gaming. Although, I still have a soft spot for the Chamber of Secrets on PS2. Man, I loved that game. Now, the game's not perfect by any means. For example, the characters could have been fleshed out a lot more and there is a fuck ton of glitches on occasion. Plus, there was a couple of times where the performance was really struggling. But overall, the game was an absolute blast in my opinion. And as a huge Harry Potter fan, it really did meet my expectations. So, I really do recommend it, especially if you grew up loving the Harry Potter franchise. I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised. Don't expect a 10 out of 10 game, but it really is an experience that was made with care and consideration for the fans and that's really rare in this day and age so yeah i think you should check it out anyway i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it gave you a few laughs and remember to do all the usual youtube stuff blah 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 blah, blah. you already know thank you so much for watching guys and you take care